one of the things I find most striking is the presence of Antarctica on ancient maps, because we didn't discover it until 1820. Antarctica, a land of stark beauty and relentless cold, guards its secrets fiercely. Yet amidst this icy desolation, life finds a way. Resilient Weddell seals, masters of survival, conquer the challenges of this frozen wilderness. They navigate the treacherous landscape, braving the relentless cold and lurking dangers, desperately seeking air amidst the frozen darkness. But they are not the only secret Antarctica holds. This icy wilderness conceals countless mysteries waiting to be discovered. Join us as we delve into the mysteries and secrets that lie beyond the ice wall of Antarctica. Weddell Seals, Pups of the Ocean In the icy realm of Antarctica, where the landscape is devoid of native land mammals, reptiles, and amphibians, a remarkable creature thrives, the Weddell Seal. These adorable pups of the ocean have adapted to the frigid conditions in astonishing ways. Not only can they dive to incredible depths of over 2,000 feet and hold their breath for more than an hour, but they also possess an extraordinary sense of smell, allowing them to locate breathing holes in the thick ice and detect both predators and prey, even in the darkness of the polar winter. But perhaps the most mind-boggling discovery about Weddell seals is their ability to navigate using the Earth's magnetic field like a built-in GPS. This adaptation has likely evolved to help them survive and hunt in their challenging environment. In the early 2022, scientists made a groundbreaking discovery, a massive breeding colony of Weddell seals in the depths of the Weddell Sea. Spanning an area of approximately 92 square miles, the size of Malta, this colony is home to an estimated 60 million seal nests. This finding provides new insights into the reproductive behavior and adaptability of these magnificent creatures in one of the harshest environments on Earth. Colossal Squid, a titan of the deep. Lurking in the inky depths of the Antarctic Ocean is a creature that has captivated the imagination of scientists and the public alike, the Colossal Squid. This elusive titan of the deep is not just a legend, it is a very real animal with awe-inspiring features. Growing up to a staggering 46 feet in length, the colossal squid boasts the largest eyes of any creature on the planet, measuring up to 11 inches in diameter. These enormous eyes are believed to be an adaptation to the squid's deep-sea lifestyle, allowing it to detect the faint glimmers of bioluminescent light. Unlike the giant squid, the colossal squid's tentacles are equipped with sharp hooks, perfect for capturing and subduing large prey. This master of ambush attacks is rarely seen by humans, preferring to remain in the deep ocean at depths of up to 6,980 feet. Despite its fearsome reputation, much about the colossal squid's life remains a mystery, making it a subject of great interest for marine biologists and a source of endless fascination for those who dare to imagine what lies beneath the icy surface of the Antarctic waters. Doomsday Glacier In the vast icy expanse of West Antarctica, a massive glacier threatens to reshape the world as we know it. The Thwaites Glacier, ominously nicknamed the Doomsday Glacier, is a colossal mass of ice that stretches over 74,000 square miles, an area larger than the state of Florida. But what makes this glacier so terrifying is not just its size, but its potential to dramatically raise global sea levels if it were to melt. Scientists have long known that the Thwaites Glacier is one of the most vulnerable points in the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, a vast expanse of ice that contains enough water to raise global sea levels by up to 16 feet if it were to melt completely. And now, new research has revealed that the glacier is already beginning to collapse, with warm ocean currents eating away at its base and causing it to retreat at an alarming rate. If the Thwaites Glacier were to disappear entirely, it could trigger a catastrophic chain reaction, causing the surrounding glaciers to collapse and unleashing a flood of ice and water into the ocean. The resulting sea level rise would be devastating, with coastal cities around the world facing inundation and millions of people forced to flee their homes. Antarctic Meteorites, Celestial Treasures in the Ice In the vast frozen expanse of Antarctica, a treasure trove of cosmic wonders lies waiting to be discovered. 
the continent's unique conditions from its dry, cold climate to its stark, white landscape make it an ideal hunting ground for meteorites, the ancient, rocky remnants of asteroids and comets that have survived their fiery plunge through Earth's atmosphere. In recent years, scientists have made some truly remarkable finds on the icy plains of Antarctica. In 2013, a team of researchers discovered five new meteorites, including a massive specimen weighing in at over 40 pounds, one of the largest ever found on the continent. This extraterrestrial behemoth, which likely originated in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, provides a rare and valuable glimpse into the early history of our solar system. But perhaps the most tantalizing find of all came in 1984, when a team of researchers discovered a small, unassuming rock in the Allen Hills region of Antarctica. Known as ALH-8400 Meteorite, but what makes ALH-8400 Meteorite truly extraordinary is what scientists found inside it. The discovery of possible signs of life in a Martian meteorite has electrified the scientific community sparking intense debate and fueling renewed interest in the search for extraterrestrial life. Ghostly anemones, ethereal dwellers of the Antarctic deep. In the icy depths beneath Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf, a haunting and otherworldly scene unfolds. Clinging to the underside of the ice, thousands of tiny translucent tentacles sway gently in the currents, their ghostly forms illuminated by the dim glow of bioluminescent creatures. These are the ghost anemone, a species of sea anemone first discovered by a team of astonished researchers in 2010. Measuring no more than an inch in length, these delicate creatures have evolved to thrive in one of the most extreme environments on the planet, where sunlight never penetrates and temperatures remain just above freezing. The ghost anemone's translucent bodies are perfectly adapted to life in the perpetual darkness, allowing them to blend in seamlessly with their icy surroundings. But what makes these ethereal organisms truly remarkable is their unique lifestyle. Their long, slender tentacles, which can extend up to twice their body length, are lined with specialized cells that allow them to capture the tiny bits of organic matter that float down from the surface. The Scotia Sea, a treasure trove of ancient DNA. Deep beneath the icy waters of the Scotia Sea, a remarkable discovery is waiting to be made. In 2019, a team of researchers collecting sediment samples from the seafloor stumbled upon a treasure trove of ancient DNA, the likes of which had never been seen before. This sedimentary DNA, or C-Day DNA, turned out to be the oldest ever recovered from a marine environment, dating back an astonishing one million years. What makes this discovery so extraordinary is the sheer age of the genetic material. Before this find, the oldest known marine CDA DNA came from the Arctic Ocean and was dated to around 140,000 years old. But the CETA DNA from the Scotia Sea blows that record out of the water, providing an unprecedented window into the evolution of marine ecosystems and the dramatic environmental changes that have shaped our planet over the millennia. As scientists begin to study this ancient genetic material in more detail, they are discovering a wealth of information about the organisms that once called the Scotia Sea home. From the microscopic planktonic creatures that form the base of the marine food web to the larger animals that once swam in these icy waters, the CETA DNA is like a time capsule, preserving the genetic signatures of countless species that have long since vanished from the Earth. South Sandwich Trench. Deep beneath the turbulent waters of the South Atlantic Ocean, a hidden world of mystery and wonder awaits. The South Sandwich Trench, a vast submarine canyon that plunges over 23,000 feet below the surface, is one of the deepest and most remote places on Earth, a realm of perpetual darkness and crushing pressure, where the very fabric of the planet is torn asunder. Formed by the collision of two tectonic plates, the South Sandwich Trench is a jagged wound in the Earth's crust, a place where the planet's molten heart is exposed to the icy depths of the ocean. The trench is home to a bizarre and alien landscape, with towering undersea mountains, gaping chasms, and strange, unearthly creatures that have adapted to life in one of the most extreme environments on the planet. 
Despite its remote location and inhospitable conditions, the South Sandwich Trench has become a hotbed of scientific research in recent years. Teams of intrepid explorers have braved the crushing depths and bone-chilling cold to study the unique geology and biology of the trench using advanced submersibles and remote sensing technology to peer into the abyss. What they have found is a world of wonders, from strange bioluminescent creatures that glow in the darkness to towering hydrothermal vents that spew scalding water and precious minerals from the Earth's core, impossible phytoplankton blooms. In the icy waters around Antarctica, a surprising discovery has left scientists scratching their heads. Phytoplankton, the tiny plant-like organisms that form the base of the ocean's food web, have been found thriving in the dark, frigid depths beneath the continent's sea ice, a place where they were once thought to be impossible. The discovery, made by a team of researchers using specially designed submersible instruments, has overturned long-held assumptions about the limits of life in the polar oceans, were believed to be confined to the upper layers of the ocean, where they could access the sun's rays through the thinning sea ice. But the new findings suggest that these hardy microorganisms have evolved ways to survive and even flourish in the perpetual darkness and bone-chilling cold of the Antarctic deep. Antarctic Sea Spiders Defying Anatomy In the icy depths of the Antarctic Ocean, a bizarre and otherworldly creature lurks, defying the laws of anatomy and physiology as we know them. The Antarctic sea spider, a strange and spindly arthropod that seems more alien than earthly, has evolved a unique and disturbing adaptation to survive in one of the harshest environments on the planet. Unlike most spiders, which have their vital organs contained within a central body cavity, the Antarctic sea spider has evolved to distribute its guts throughout its long, thin legs, a strategy that allows it to survive in the crushing cold and darkness of the deep sea. This strange anatomical arrangement means that the sea spider's body is essentially hollow, with its organs stretched out like spaghetti through its spindly appendages. But the sea spider's unusual anatomy doesn't stop there. The creature also possesses a long, proboscis-like mouth, which it uses to pierce the bodies of its prey and suck out their nutrients like a grotesque straw. This highly specialized feeding mechanism allows the sea spider to extract every last bit of energy and sustenance from its food, a crucial adaptation in an environment where resources are scarce and every calorie counts. The Endurance, a shipwreck that refuses to fade. In the annals of Antarctic exploration, few stories capture the imagination quite like that of Sir Ernest Shackleton's ill-fated Imperial Trans-Antarctic Expedition. At the heart of this tale of survival against all odds is the ship that bore the expedition's fitting name, the Endurance. Shackleton, whose family motto, By Endurance We Conquer, inspired the ship's moniker, set out from South Georgia Island in December 1914 with the ambitious goal of crossing the entire Antarctic continent from one side to the other. However, the Endurance soon found itself trapped in the treacherous ice of the Weddell Sea, far from its intended destination. For months, the crew fought valiantly to free the ship. The relentless pressure of the ice slowly crushed the Endurance, forcing Shackleton and his men to abandon the ship and set out on a desperate journey across the frozen landscape. Against incredible odds, the entire crew survived. Fast forward a century, and the Endurance once again captured the world's attention. On March 2022, the wreckage of the ship was discovered nearly 10,000 feet below the surface of the Weddell Sea. Remarkably well-preserved by the frigid Antarctic waters, the Endurance stands as a haunting echo of the golden age of Antarctic exploration and the indomitable human spirit that has driven us to the ends of the Earth in pursuit of knowledge and glory. Strange Bacterium, Life in the Extremes, Antarctica, with its harsh, unforgiving environment, seems an unlikely place to find thriving life. Yet in this icy desert, scientists have uncovered a bizarre form of life that challenges our understanding of the very essence of survival. A peculiar bacterium discovered by researchers from the University of New South Wales, Australia, has the astonishing ability to survive solely on the meager compounds found in the atmosphere. 
These microbes, which feed off hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide, can withstand the most extreme conditions imaginable. Sub-zero temperatures, severe drought, months of darkness, relentless ultraviolet radiation, and the constant freeze-thaw cycles that define life in Antarctica. The discovery of these atmospheric eating bacteria raises profound questions about the nature of life and the possibility of its existence on other planets. In an environment where even the most basic necessities for life seem absent, these remarkable microbes have found a way to thrive. By unlocking the secrets of their survival, scientists hope to gain a deeper understanding of the fundamental building blocks of life and the incredible resilience of Earth's organisms. Ghost Mountains, Echoes of an Ancient Past Deep beneath the vast ice sheet that blankets Antarctica lies a hidden world of towering peaks and rugged valleys, a landscape that echoes the grandeur of the European Alps, yet remains utterly concealed from view. These ghost mountains, known as the Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains, have captured the imagination of scientists and explorers alike, offering tantalizing clues to the continent's ancient past and the forces that have shaped its icy present. The discovery of these jagged peaks, which rise to elevations of over 9,800 feet, challenges our understanding of the formation and evolution of Antarctica's colossal ice sheet. The presence of such rugged angular topography suggests that the ice sheet formed rapidly, entombing the mountains beneath a frozen shroud that has preserved their sharp edges and steep faces for millions of years. But the Gamburtsev Mountains are more than just a geologic curiosity. They are a window into the very origins of Antarctica itself. While much of the continent's topography has been shaped by the relentless grinding of glaciers and the slow drift of tectonic plates, the Ghost Mountains may hold the key to unlocking the secrets of Antarctica's earliest history. Some scientists believe that these ancient peaks could date back as far as 500 million years, to a time when the continent was still part of the supercontinent Gondwana, tardigrades, indestructible survivors. In the frozen wastelands of Antarctica, where life hangs by a thread, there exists a creature so resilient, so utterly indestructible, that it defies all notions of what is possible. Tardigrades, also known as water bears, are microscopic animals that have survived in some of Earth's most extreme environments for over 500 million years. Measuring no more than 0.02 inches in length, these tiny survivors can withstand conditions that would spell certain doom for most other forms of life. Tardigrades have been found to endure temperatures ranging from a mind-boggling negative 458 Fahrenheit to a scorching 300 Fahrenheit, pressures six times greater than those found at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, and even the unforgiving vacuum of outer space. When faced with extreme conditions, they enter a state of suspended animation called cryptobiosis, in which their metabolism slows to a crawl, and they can survive without food or water for decades on end. But perhaps the most incredible feat of these diminutive warriors is their ability to withstand radiation levels that would be lethal to most other organisms. Scientists have discovered that tardigrades can survive exposure to X-rays, gamma rays, and even the intense ultraviolet radiation of space, thanks to a unique protein that protects their DNA from damage. This remarkable resilience has led some researchers to speculate that tardigrades could even survive a global catastrophe that wiped out all other life on Earth. Antarctica's preserved delicacies, a taste of the past. In the frozen wasteland of Antarctica, where temperatures can plummet to negative 128 degrees Fahrenheit and the landscape is blanketed in a perpetual coat of ice and snow, one might not expect to find much in the way of culinary delights. Yet, in this harsh and unforgiving environment, a surprising discovery has been made. A cache of perfectly preserved, century-old delicacies that offer a tantalizing glimpse into the lives of the early Antarctic explorers. The star of this gastronomic time capsule is undoubtedly the fruitcake found at Cape Adair a relic of Robert Falcon Scott's ill-fated Terra Nova expedition of 1910. Wrapped in wax paper and nestled in a rusty tin, this 100-year-old fruitcake was discovered in near-perfect condition. 
Although no one has dared to taste this ancient confection, its very existence serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges and sacrifices endured by the brave men who first sought to conquer the frozen continent. But the fruitcake is not the only surprising find to emerge from the icy depths of Antarctica's past. In 2007, conservators from the New Zealand Antarctic Heritage Trust uncovered a cache of McKinley's rare old Highland malt whiskey, a blend that was specially commissioned for Ernest Shackleton's 1907 Nimrod expedition. The whiskey, which had been buried beneath the floorboards of Shackleton's hut at Cape Royds for over a century, was found to be in remarkably good condition, with analysis revealing that it had retained much of its original flavor and character. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. This drone captures chilling footage from beyond the ice wall of Antarctica. It appears to show a town made of ice with distinct megastructures. It's not the first time such claims have surfaced. Admiral Richard Evelyn Byrd, a renowned American explorer, led Operation High Jump in 1946. During this expedition, Byrd reported finding a crystal city beneath the ice. He described a scene straight out of science fiction, where he and his team stumbled upon a city made of crystals, radiating an otherworldly beauty. What are your thoughts? Could a secret civilization truly exist in Antarctica? Let us know in the comments. Ice Fish Masters of Sub-Zero Survival Beneath the icy waters of Antarctica, a strange and ghostly creature swims, its translucent body a marvel of adaptation to one of the harshest environments on the planet. The ice fish, a small, unassuming species found only in the frigid depths of the Southern Ocean, has evolved a set of extraordinary traits that allow it to thrive in water that remains just a few degrees above freezing. Unlike most other fish, which rely on hemoglobin to transport oxygen through their bloodstream, ice fish have clear, colorless blood that is utterly devoid of this vital protein. Instead, their blood contains high levels of antifreeze proteins that prevent ice crystals from forming in their tissues, allowing them to survive in water that would freeze the blood of any other creature. But the ice fish's unique adaptations don't stop there. These remarkable animals inhabit a vast underwater realm, spanning over 37,000 square miles, where they construct elaborate nests on the seafloor to protect their delicate eggs. Perhaps most incredibly of all, the ice fish's colorless blood allows it to absorb oxygen directly from the water through its thin, transparent skin, a feat that no other vertebrate can accomplish. This adaptation, born of countless generations of evolution in one of the most challenging environments on Earth, has allowed the ice fish to colonize the icy depths of the Antarctic seas, carving out a niche for itself in a world where few other creatures dare to venture. Giant sea sponges, silent survivors beneath the ice. In the icy depths of Antarctica's seas, a strange and ancient creature lurks its porous body and spindly arms showcasing the incredible adaptability of life in the harshest of environments. These are the giant sea sponges, the silent survivors of the Antarctic deep, whose evolutionary history stretches back over 600 million years to the dawn of complex life on Earth. These remarkable organisms, some of which can grow to the size of a small car, have evolved a unique set of adaptations that allow them to thrive in a world of perpetual darkness, crushing pressure, and bone-chilling cold. Their bodies are composed of a complex network of tiny chambers and channels, through which they pump water to extract the nutrients and oxygen they need to survive. But what makes these giant sponges truly extraordinary is their ability to filter vast amounts of water, playing a vital role in the cycling of nutrients and the health of the Antarctic ecosystem. Scientists estimate that a single sponge can filter up to 180 gallons of water per day, removing tiny particles of organic matter and providing a vital food source for other organisms in the deep. Despite their importance, however, much about the giant sea sponges remains a mystery. The extreme conditions in which they live make them difficult to study, and their slow growth rates and long lifespans mean that many of the individuals alive today may have been filtering the waters of the Antarctic for centuries, if not millennia. Frozen Finances, the world's loneliest ATM. In the vast, frozen expanse of Antarctica, 
where the nearest human settlement is over 1,000 miles away, one might not expect to find the trappings of modern civilization. Yet, at McMurdo Station, the largest research center on the continent, there exists a surprising touch of everyday life, a solitary ATM, standing sentinel against the icy backdrop of the Antarctic wilderness. This lone ATM, operated by Wells Fargo, is a crucial lifeline for the station's seasonal population of researchers, scientists, and support staff, which can swell to over 1,000 people during the busy summer months. In a place where cash is still king, the ATM provides a vital link to the outside world, allowing residents to withdraw funds for use in the station's small store, post office, and other facilities. But maintaining this financial oasis in the middle of the Antarctic desert is no easy feat. The harsh environment, with its sub-zero temperatures and relentless winds, poses a constant challenge to the ATM's delicate electronic components. Every two years, a team of specially trained technicians must brave the treacherous journey to McMurdo to perform routine maintenance and ensure that the machine remains operational. The Mystery of the San Telmo Shipwreck In the annals of Antarctic exploration, few tales are as haunting as that of the San Telmo, a Spanish warship that vanished in the icy waters of the Southern Ocean. The ship, which was part of a fleet bound for Peru, was last seen battling fierce storms near the treacherous South Shetland Islands, just off the northern tip of the Antarctic Peninsula. Despite extensive searches, no trace of the San Telmo or her crew of 644 men was ever found, and for over a century, the fate of the ship remained one of the great mysteries of the Age of Sail. But in 1960, a tantalizing clue emerged from the icy depths of Antarctica's past. On the desolate shores of Livingston Island, in the South Shetlands, a group of explorers stumbled upon the remains of a shipwreck scattered across the rocky beach. The wreckage, which included fragments of wood, metal, and ceramic, seemed to suggest that a large, well-armed vessel had met its end on the island's jagged coast. Could this be the long-lost San Telmo? And if so, what had become of her crew? As researchers began to piece together the evidence, a startling possibility emerged. If the wreckage on Livingston Island was indeed that of the San Telmo, then the ship's crew might well have been the first humans to set foot on Antarctica, almost half a century before the first recorded landing on the continent. The idea was tantalizing, but also fraught with uncertainty. With no surviving records or eyewitness accounts, the true story of San Telmo's final days may never be known. Antarctica's Ancient Treasures Beneath the vast, icy expanse of Antarctica lies a treasure trove of ancient wonders, offering tantalizing glimpses into the continent's lush and verdant past. Perhaps the most remarkable of these is the fossil of the Antarctic tundra beetle, a tiny insect that once thrived in the warm, moist environment that covered the continent millions of years ago. The beetle, which was discovered near the Beardmore Glacier in the Transantarctic Mountains, dates back some 14 to 20 million years to a time when Antarctica was a vastly different place. In those ancient days, the land that is now a frozen desert was covered in dense forests of beech trees and conifers, with lush undergrowth of ferns and mosses. Streams and rivers flowed across the landscape, supporting a rich ecosystem of insects, amphibians, and even small mammals. The Antarctic tundra beetle was just one of the many species that thrived in this warm, wet environment, which would be almost unrecognizable to the modern-day explorer. As the fossil record reveals, Antarctica's climate began to cool around 40 million years ago, gradually transforming the continent into the icy wilderness we know today. But the discovery of the tundra beetle and other ancient treasures serves as a reminder of the incredible diversity of life that once flourished at the bottom of the world. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.